It's a yak. Welcome in. Sponsored by Roback, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code YAK for 20% off your first purchase. Through the end of this week, Q-Zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts, all on Roback, the most comfortable clothes in the world. Roback.com. Use code YAK for 20% off your first purchase. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello. Oh, fuck you to Brandon Walker. Of course. We thought that goes without saying. Should we say why or just... No, he's just a, he's a narcissist. It has nothing to do with narcissism. Shit, Alan Walker showed up. That's what was Brandon just saying? Brandon, uh, was, Brandon was trying to... <laughs> can't believe... Brandon was trying to defend himself, and he goes, he goes, it's the anniversary of D-Day, and people, are, and people are mad about the about a trivia Ooh, game. M6, all those great as men. If We're talking about trivia. Exactly, as if something that Brandon was thinking about all day was D-Day. June Brandon 6, thinks about whatever. He woke up today, and he was Brandon, like, fuck, today was nine years. D-day. Brandon thinks about what Brandon Walker, what, what he was going on in his life. It wasn't narcissistic. <laughs> I, I actually Only. made a mistake. I was talking trash to Rico. That's what it was. Disgust me. Oh, you stormed over there like the troops at Normandy yeah. to Rico and fucking talk crash. It's on camera. Should, I was right Brandon, here. Do you want to like pay your respect? Like, you're a big daddy. Yeah, why don't you tell us yeah, about wait. D-Day? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> such a historian. Who are, we, who are we memorializing? Name all the beaches. Yeah. If you're such a D-Day fan, name Normandy. all the beaches. There's Normandy. There's Omaha. Uh, Normandy's not a beach. Normandy was where they stormed. Oh, you fool. Was Omaha Beach at Normandy? You, you're the fan. I know the answer, but not you're the fan. fan. I'm not a fan I'm of D-Day. I'm surprised you even have work today. Big fan right. of D-Day. Wow. <laughs> 79th wow, anniversary. So na- <laughs> if, you're, if you're such a fan, name all your favorite beaches. Why are you doing this? I, I, was, I was trying to talk tra- trash to Rico. I didn't mean to, to spoil the dozen. A lot of Medal of Honor recipients who gave their lives there. Tell us about just one of them. Who are your top five? Name the, yeah, name the beaches. My, name the fucking beaches. My grandfather, for one. There's no way. Knew some people. (laughs) (laughs) Probably knew some people. (laughs) Who's generally aware of it? (laughs) Did you Google? They were in the same generation. Tragedies that Google tragedies that try to see. Tragedies that happen. I knew today was D Day. I mean, uh, uh, June sixth. That's a very obvious day. It's not. It is pretty. I I've gone to Normandy. It's fucking wild. Yeah. Is it sweet? It is. On the beaches. Nuts. Yeah, I did. Storm the beaches. Is there a triumphant feel there, or is it sad? Like, oh, yeah, they love Americans there. Yeah? Yeah. Is there, like, a pop in beach? Ago, Do people, like, beach that people go are beach? People beaching there, going yeah. There? yeah. You can see, like, some of the old, uh, like, encased, Shell. I don't know what they call. Uh, bullet shells. I stormed oh, the too. beaches of Normandy in, I think it was Battlefield or Call of Duty. Oh, shit. Yeah, Call of Duty. Call of Duty was, was sick, yeah. Horrified. Medal of Honor, was, too. Yeah. That's way crazier than what I said. And I, I mean, he served. I was in it. I yeah. went through that. He was, he was in, in the, the shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. At the time when the a PS2 and Xbox just came out, it felt real. It did. Dude, the amount you of could pause it and go make a frozen pizza. The Never. amount of the Never. amount of others that I lost while storming. You better watch your fucking mouth. You could die and then come back, start over. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it was a lot of pride in staying alive. If Brandon went to Normandy. They'd be called me boats. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon have been like, ah, it's a little too sunny today. I'll tell you a person. We do this on a, on a more <laughs> hey, TJ, cloudy day. I think it actually was cloudy. Oh, TJ, I need to talk to you. Why? Wow. I just want to say something to you from the bottom of my heart. Are you ready? I'm going to mute your mic if you tell my dad to go fuck Fuck me. your dad. Oh! <laughs> I st- yeah. For once in my life, I stand with Tim Hitchings. Fuck Tim Hitchings. I've always loved Tim Hitchings. I've always thought he's an upstanding man. You call him a loser. No, I don't. I did. What did he do? That's his material change. He's no longer. I'll say it right now. Breaking news: Tim Hitchings winner. Wow. Hear that? TJ, that's got to mean a lot to you. Winner. A lot to the family. That guy wins. Well, he's and anyone who's on his wrong side's a loser. So you want to get at me so bad that you're telling me that Tim Hitchings is now a winner? <laughs> material change, my friend. People change. You spent two years live calling golf, him a loser. live golf and PGA Tour together now. Brandon's heard that speech before. People change. Yeah. You change. I can change. Everybody can change. <laughs> can we pull up the picture? Well, you're really on this, aren't you? That was, it, that was a perfect was, segue. Stephen Che just nailed it. Yeah, but you've been waiting for a Rocky. For, you waited Brandon, seven minutes. Brandon got a uh, uh, perfect segue. Kevin Drago's uh, wife's haircut. You have the picture? Bridget Nielsen's haircut. Flavor Flav's girlfriend. Yeah. All-time hottie. Flavor Flav. Look at that. <laughs> That's it. Identical. Whoa. It is. I didn't know Che had that in him. 
Okay, good work. Wow. Jay was nice like that. Is this making y'all feel good? <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It is absolutely making me feel great. <laughs> it's just, you know, I for feel somebody, awesome right somebody now. who doesn't care about the dozen, you sure do care about the I dozen. I care about the fans. That's the one fans thing. Are, the fans are what pay our salaries. If, if we didn't on. have fans, we'd be fucking sitting in a parking lot. Yep. Just talking to each other. They you don't just care about the better. fans, Brandon? Oh, he doesn't care about the fans. I actually feel bad for the fans right now. I feel now. awful I could, for the fucking, fans. I could shed a tear. If they don't know whether to... No, don't. I'll hold it together. Don't they don't know whether to, to, to not worth it. sit here and be like, should I mourn the spoiling of the dozen or D-Day? Well, it's a battle. I'm, 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 a D-Day is pretty much happening in my head right now, trying Same. to come up with that decision. Same. <laughs> Grandfather's fought in wars. Tim Hitchings actually God damn organized a baddies watch party tonight. That was going to be double the size oh, of Kirk's. Fuck. And he's Kirk's, Kirk's watch party was awesome. It was so sick. <laughs> it was, oh, it, dude, yeah. Kirk, I loved it. Kirk it had clips. a watch party for our match. Yes. Well, that's. I mean, people. He's not going to have a watch party for a loss. Right. So that, Maybe. in a way, was Maybe. a spoil. I, I just I loved it. There. Everyone who showed I up. There. I love everyone who showed up. That's just ride or that's die. <laughs> It's ride or die. Where is this? This is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Like, this is awesome. I fucking love this so much. Look at those dudes. (laughs) Those are salt of the earth. That's a a whole movie theater full of salt of the earth. That's pretty good. Oh, not a movie theater? It seemed like a movie theater. It looked like a movie theater. Looked like a movie theater to me. All right. No? Go watch the dozen. We can move on. Go watch the dozen. Go rewatch. Everyone, please watch the KB's match against mm-hmm. Kirk. Watch all the matches that come out. Support the show. Support, Support the, the show. Jeff D. Lowe puts a lot of hard work in it, and some people just ruin all his hard work. We look tough. I no, look Shay looks ridiculous. <laughs> we look tough. I, I think look Jay ridiculous. looks exactly like himself. No, no he doesn't. I look like Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Before he lied. <laughs> <laughs> Small nose Pinocchio? <laughs> so just a real boy. Truth telling Pinocchio. It's very, very shiny cheeks. I look like a. a Everyone has shiny cheeks, though. You do have shiny cheeks, don't you? The, DJ, fil- the filter has done some people very right and some people very well, wrong. Well, I'm, I'm right there with you, buddy. Who's that Owen Wilson yeah, guy the next to TJ? Wow. Hey, hmm. Great cheekbones on him. Beautiful lips. Yeah. Kissable lips on Patty the Batty. Rudy I'll just say that about the lad. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fun. Dude. Didn't Who's that? recognize him. Chris O'Connor. Chris O'Connor. Tommy, Tommy Pope. Pope. From uh, ah. Stuff Island. Got it. Tommy Pope started his comedy career on like the same night that Smitty did or something like that. What? Or Smitty tar- started his comedy career. 79 years ago today. What, <laughs> <laughs> the same open mic? <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, you bastard's ass. Oh, you uh, fucking nailed that. You son of a bitch bastard. You got it. You got I read it. that big D-Day book. It was awesome. It's like oh, yeah. 700 pages. I read that big D-Day. I'm sure there's oh, the David hundreds or thousands one. of books. No, no. D-Day. It's called D-Day. It's like 700 pages. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it's the D-Day book. The D-Day Thank book. you, Sass. Who wrote it? You just David Ambrose. I just David said Ambrose. it. Ambrose. You didn't just say it. Though. I just did, said it. And I said it too, David Ambrose. You're really a bad person today. Yeah, you're a really <laughs> bad person. Jesus. You think that wasn't a trivia question? He's just yeah. wrote the He's DJ just book. Scratching along for a win, and he can't find it. I anywhere. was, I was, I was sitting there, and I was talking to Rico on the show, and he was bragging about winning, and I said, the, "Oh, I don't say was, it again. Don't, don't, don't spoil it again." Well, how, how is that possible? It would be, it'll be a fresh spoil for everyone who didn't catch the last one. Big D Day. There's probably a bunch of people who it still hasn't been spoiled for. Yeah. I'd say, honestly, a majority. Good. Good. Did Jeff text you yet? Do you want to oh, do yeah. this the easy way or the hard way? Yeah, he's he's in my text. What did he say? He's What's in. he saying? Um, shit? <laughs> I told him I was spoiled on Pick Central. He said... It's okay. Uh, it, he's like, all right, we'll get past it. Just don't talk about it on the yak. <laughs> all right, so don't talk about it on the yak. All right. <sighs> Are we live? No, oh, we're, we're about to go live in a minute. Mm-hmm. Do the rowback ad. I already did it. Okay. What do you guys want to talk about? 
I feel like there's only one thing on my mind. You do? Massive thing in the front front of my mind. Ah. Uh, the the white elephant. Or what? what? The elephant oh, Nadu. The elephant. Oh yeah, yeah. Nadu. Oh, what the fuck? Man, we lost some of our best men on June 6th. Yeah. <laughs> we brought him in here. Do day. Yeah, Ida was the return. <laughs> to, he uh. Yeah, but we voted him out. Shooting star. He'll be back. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be back. Correct me if this is the third time he's quit. Second time, sure. I believe. Third time we've lost. This him. is the third. Yeah, the kind of had a part time gig for a while, then said I'm done. Then came back for Idol, stuck around for a little bit, then said I'm done. Oh yeah, he did say he's Idol, and uh, he's he was done on Idol. And we got we had a full time back gig before Idol, full, right? Yeah, he had a full. T- he's quit a full time four times job at Barstool four. Sports two times. Yeah, yes. Yes. which is quite impressive. Yeah. He also quit during Idol when he didn't have a full time job. Right. And he was still that's brought what, back, what, which is how, why he, you think he's going to be brought back again. Do you, do you admire him, though, when he when he got laughed at for asking for a lot of money, he just walked out? No. <laughs> Not you, at all. Do you think our HR he department no had, like, just a deep sigh of relief? Yeah. <laughs> they probably took the rest of the day off. <laughs> They're like, well, they just took the entire Nadu file and threw it in the trash. Yeah. Half of HR probably had to get let go yesterday. Nice we don't need, there's no way we need all of you anymore. Yeah, just the fucking pages yeah. of nice rack tweets. Oh, so when he gets rehired, are they going to have to take that out of the trash, or does yeah. it start fresh? Is okay. it like a completely fresh start where none of the old HR violations count? I would like to release the HR files, just heavily redacted, like CIA, <laughs> CIA files. Yeah, just a big line. We'd probably have a whole department for Nadu and Stu. Yeah. <laughs> the 9-11 commission report. Yeah. It, just, it, just, yeah. it just releases files that are like, Jeff the dude tweeted nice, blacked out. Yeah, like you just figure out. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a girl with big redacted. <laughs> oh, Odds winds up at Brick. What? Oh, Zero. I don't think so. No? Yeah, no, no I think Dave's pretty pretty uh, taken aback by Nadu's offer. Called Counter- him a selfish pig, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Listen, he said that he's got. He's betting like on that. himself. He's betting yeah. on himself again. This happened last time where he bet on himself and was like, I made a mistake. <laughs> so we'll see. I would like for him to just keep coming back for every every Barstool <laughs> Idol. I love it. Is there going to be one in Chicago? Or when's the next Barstool Idol? I don't know. Yak Idol was so much fun. It was. It was stressful, though. Did we hired Super too many stressful. people. Or why it was are we very not running stressful. Yeah. Four or five? How it was five? the worst. It was the worst me and KB ever had as like a relationship stretch it was that week. Yeah, you guys were going oh, yeah, we, 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 were, we were button heads. <laughs> I was getting into that. Yeah. I was kind of having fun. Nadu, Clemmer, John Rich, Caroline, Danny, Danny, Danny. Jackal. Yeah. yeah. Five people. I think overall we, like, Caroline's a star. Yes. We no. did a good job. That was me. Like, yeah. people were yeah. upset. Like, <laughs> oh, you know, people were upset <laughs> after. Oh, John, John Rich. We were pounding the, the table, right man. Like, John Caroline Rich, cannot second work Caroline. here. Caroline, if you watch back the tapes, <laughs> I'm responsible for all the hot, the successful hires. No, you were like, Caroline cannot work here. She's a threat to my success. <laughs> <laughs> a threat to Anus's success at this bot, at this company. Well, it was good that we had said that. It was good that we had Dave show up because, remember, he was just like, oh, John Rich, you're hired. Because John Rich probably would have won. And then we wouldn't yeah. have had Caroline. And Clemmer. Or Danny. Clemmer. Danny. Yeah, those are all good. Those were all good. You guys nailed it. What does do? Oh. Bada bing. <laughs> he made waves. He made, he made a splash. He's a shooting what, uh, star. You know. It was the show. It, oh. Some are saying that the death of do was done by one person here. Who's that? Stephen Che. Oh. He never really yeah. recovered after Che put him in a body bag. No. Oh. Do you do you count that as a kill count? I don't think so. I mean, Brandon's been taking layup lines on that guy for weeks. Yeah, can I still use him as batting practice? <laughs> I would assume. Oh so. no, 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 you can't. Not. You can't. I can't. I don't know. You well, can't. How am I going to stay sharp? Interact. I need like after this show, I need something to do. You need a new punching bag. But I mean, if he was making a hundred k in Lancaster, I know. Mm-hmm. It's got to be a pretty solid for what for one generational hour of, wealth. Yeah, for <laughs> one hour of work. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> insane. That's tour money to do a podcast. Yeah. He's his the dude's what did he need two hundred k for? Yeah. And his TikTok too. He's running buying Lancaster. <laughs> he was putting a down payment on the whole town. He was he was doing like an Amish relocation yeah. project yeah. so that people would stop saying that. I don't even know what he would need that much money to do. The most nervous guy on the planet has to be his landlord because he just moved. 
And oh, he bought a house. He's got though, cash. He's, he's landlord. Fine. He's fine. He bought a house. You guys got him fucked up on some ends. He's flush. Mm-hmm. Uh, she'll be fine. The you want to see him at the club? The first person to go will be the bottle service. The news, he's very good at acting on logic instead of emotion, so I'm pretty sure he thought this through. And he's making the right decision. Correct. I know him correctly. Yeah, and you do because you've been boys with him yes. for quite some time. Yes. You guys are geography brothers. Yes. You destroyed him in that. I did. I wiped the floor with him. <laughs> so you need someone to do layup lines on too. I do. I we do. all need a practice dummy. Mm-hmm. Underrated. You're mine, Brandon. Maybe he was worth that 200 oh, I really am. I really am. <laughs> Maybe we all go put I know you don't really care. Desk. No, and you know that I deep down love you. I know, but I know you don't care, too. <laughs> That's the best part, is you know deep down I'll always have your back, but front-facing, can't can't let anyone know that. Yeah. You're just, you're, just, you're just hitting some ball batting practice right now. I'm grooving 60-mile-an-hour <laughs> pitches for you, and you're you're hitting them off the wall. You're putting on a tee. I'm 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 T ball batting right now with like unlimited strikes. <laughs> like you can't you the only thing can happen is a walk or a hit. Can't strike out. Are you gonna walk in T ball? Just just sit there and be like, I wanna go to first. <laughs> and they just let you go to first. Where'd you get that Red Bull? Uh I got a stash. Fuck. Don't you worry about it, brother. Order some sass. Hey, aren't you close to T ball? Have you gotten to T ball yet? Yeah. When is T ball? Four. Four or five. I was gonna start five. Okay, five. All right. My son's turning four. They got it for like three half. and four year olds, but they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, like I, I think about that. Like I bought my son a baseball glove the other day, and we we played with it for like maybe five minutes. And then yeah. it was like, and he just went and hit his sister with it. It was like, all right, that's done. <laughs> like it, it, the attention makes span sense. is it just so small. <laughs> it's so so short when you're that young. I saw a t ball. Or a wiffle ball pitcher just plunking a kid in the face multiple times this past week. What are they trying to do with organized sports with three-year-olds? I can't believe it. Soccer, they're not playing. I guess it's just to, like, socialize. Give them a canvas, give them some paint, let them express their creativity. I did soccer with my son, and then he, uh, there was one kid who just would always show up late. One of his friends would show up late, and his mom would always bring fruit snacks. So my son would have the attention span for soccer for, like, ten minutes. Kid would show up. Fruit snacks. You gotta sit that mom down. And run into the woods. That was it. You gotta sit her yeah, down and have her t- have a talking to. My kid infiltrated the other team's snacks the other day, and it was awkward. Ooh. Our, yeah. our our team had had chips and cookies, but the other team had pizza. Oh. And whoa, whoa. I turned around and hey, better. And my son was over there and had a slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by the wrong uniform. I was, I had to apologize, but they were cool. They, they didn't care. It was for the kids, but it was it was awkward. That's that's the best part about being a kid, though. You can do, do whatever, whatever you, want. Yeah. you want. Yeah. Yep. What kind of uh, snacks did your guys' parents bring? Were they healthy snacks? Were they shitty snacks? Were they fantastic snacks? Holy shit. I feel like it was always I Oreo. Like oh, those. Alex Bennett. You should get her uh, in here. Uh, I was, it was always Oreos and orange slices at halftime Oreos after the game. You definitely should get her in here. Halftime? Yeah, we never had variety. It was always orange slices and maybe a Capri Sun if you were like Orange slices hydrates you. Mm. Yeah, we just had orange slices for everything. Oh. It is it is great. like a bag. They would come in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. We never yeah, did. Yeah. We, we oh. ate poorly down there. She had a ton of orange slices. And do whatever you want. I, I fried the other, catfish in the first quarter. <laughs> the other day I my son had to pee. We were outside and I just let him pee in a bush. He's like, Why don't you pee in this bush? I was like, well, it's different when I do it yeah. versus you. School zone, son. You said yeah. the other day you love peeing in bushes. I do, but not like in the middle of Brooklyn where people can see. I think that would, I think I'd get in trouble. I peed on the, I peed in on the side of the street in Brooklyn. You did because Francis dropped me off, I'm like the middle in the middle of nowhere. We were coming home from a show, and he was like, "I'll take you like close to like the highway or something, so that it'll be easy for you to get an Uber." And I was just like, uh, like in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I just I had to pee so bad, and I peed on the side of the street. You probably were. I don't think there's a middle of nowhere in Brooklyn. And there's not. It you was don't the get middle of nowhere. Up easier on a highway. <laughs> it was. It was there's for his densely pop. Yeah, the most <laughs> densely populated place. Like, it was the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I had to do it. Tumbleweed. I, I had to pee so bad, but I I was scared while doing it. Che, you want to get Alex Bennett? Want to get her in here? See what she's up to. Her into the first day back. Juicy drama, extra pulp in the Everest world. What happened? <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> what be, about the I've guy that saved the guy? Big, yes. <laughs> Did you just do a blog title? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. juicy drama and is unpleasant. 
It's bad. It's nasty. Ravi what? Everest, a Malaysian man. He's like this guy. He's just big in the mountaineering His world. Name is Everest. He collapsed on the mountain close to the summit, passed out. Wait. Was saved by a Sherpa on another different, team. different story. Not our guy. Not our guy. Uh, the Sherpa puts Ravi on his back, saves his life. Ravi isn't acknowledging him and blocked him on Instagram. What? Yeah, he's like he pissed. has his own company where he leads people up mountains and what doesn't want that tarnished, like his credibility tarnished. Oh, it's what a definitely yes. Ravi Everest, you're yeah. fucked. Kyle just no. talked about you on the yak. Yeah, he's done. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Is he like, so he's mad because he doesn't want people to know that he was in trouble, or is it like a Lieutenant Dan thing, like? No. My last name's Trying Everest. I was born to die on this mountain. Probably both. Should have let me die. And then there's like claims that he, this guy, there's no official record of him ever summiting Everest. What? He might be a fraud. Ravi oh. Everest? Ravi Everest. Fraud. Holy shit. There's been a lot of drama up there lately on hello, Everest. Alex. Mm-hmm. Alex, hello. 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 Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, Kate. What's going on? How are you? I'm great. How about you? Good. It's great to see Hi, you. Alex. I'm finally going to be able to sleep tonight knowing you came in the office. You saw me last week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> let's, not be, let's not be dramatic. What's been going on? How's how's your guys? I feel like I, I saw Alana yesterday and I wanted to ask about you guys, how, how you guys are doing. We're good. Yeah? Yeah. We're just like, we're enjoying being out of the office right now. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, nice. a, that's a big time. Uh, <laughs> I just, I'm just working on myself right now. I'm enjoying being single. How do you feel about the people who w- want wanted you in the office, or you had to be in the office? That would be fine, but we talk, we ask Dave, Erica, and Gaz all the time: like, right. Are we good in, or are we, do we need like do we need to come in, or are we good out? And I feel like if the answer was any different, then we would obviously act accordingly. But mm. what is the answer they tell you? Do your thing. Do your thing. Do you miss us? Yeah. That's a lie. No, it's that not. Why would I, what good would lying do me at this point? I don't know. <laughs> You don't really miss. Good would not lying do to you. Yeah, I like. I don't miss you. Right. I miss you, Roan. Thank you. Oh, Likewise. Right? Why did you ask? I, I miss you. Oh, that's the correct. Yeah, go around the room. Yeah, yeah. Correct. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Like, like I, I see your face pop up and stuff, and I'm like, okay, I always talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, like there's that aspect. You and I talked. A little, but not that much. Yeah, no, you know Brandon, she doesn't miss you. Okay, do you miss that? Yeah, he said a little. That's a little, yeah. You miss Kyle? I'm. I see KB in the streets sometimes, but yeah. Like there's there's more of you that like the people Ooh. that I talk to more. Yeah, that's and who you're Brandon, you do not miss whatsoever. No, I <laughs> just I never talk to you that much. <laughs> I feel like the do, big- y'all, do y'all train these people to do this? <laughs> <laughs> it comes natural to a lot of us. Yeah, it just you ever always think, felt that way. What's the Taylor Swift? Did the problem is me? It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. Well, that, that's that's Brandon. She just wear that shirt. <laughs> never had an issue. I, I, I'm kidding. I'm, oh, you're not. I don't, I don't talk to you that often. You're never here. It's true. I deserve that one back. Was right, it so was it uh was it bad on your mental health when all that sh- shit first happened? Mm. It it really wasn't. I I think people like have this. Well, of course everyone has a different narrative because we didn't really put one out there, so that's only to be expected. Like we didn't really control it because we didn't really respond. Because a lot of our listeners live on Instagram, so it it sort of was like a Twitter thing. So if we talked about it on the pod, we just got these DMs that were like, what, are you, like, what happened? What are you guys really talking about? I thought Keegs did a phenomenal job. Like, that was a great blog. All of it was, that's like what makes Barstool Barstool. It just made us take a step back because we were like, we kind of have a different demographic. So whatever we respo- respond with will be out there forever. Mm. Like our listener, it just didn't live. We were kind of like... I don't know if it's worth it, so we just really didn't say anything. But no, it wasn't bad on the mental health or anything. And like, I love Keegs, always will. I thought, and I honestly thought it was like very well done. And like, you get to have that opinion, of course. I just didn't have much to say back because like sometimes I don't know if dinosaurs were like. How are you going to defend that? You just I've been seeing it bubble up a lot too. A lot of other people don't think dinosaurs existed. Like I think Billy and Spud didn't believe dinosaurs. Billy and Spud, we just had two guys on oh, our podcast, and they're like, absolutely not. They didn't exist. It's yeah. the uh, what was they say? It's the Left wing media or something like that? Yeah, something like that. No. Probably. It's brewing. <laughs> no. He's brewing right now. No, y'all talk. Stewing and brewing. Has it changed the how you uh yeah, like where's uh, your stash of Red Bulls? Harry needs a Red Bull. Not tell him. Has it changed your content on your podcast? No, it's see. I mean, the only thing that's different is we don't record in here, but otherwise, no, we still do like the meetings the same and like the structure of what we talk about. Yeah. All the same. Let's finish it. No way. Why not? 
I'm secondhand fucking. I'm not having your back. Like fourth hand. I'm healthy. I'm in. as healthy as an ox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that last? What was that yeah. noise? <laughs> wish you were as healthy as an ox. Um, Alex, not to bring up something bad, but I was thinking about you the other day. I listened to a podcast called Sonic Boom. Oh. I actually don't think that your father-in-law, like, there's a lot more blame to go around than just him being the bad guy. Did this podcast say that? Yeah, they were like, there's a lot of people to blame. Yeah, initially they needed someone. Right. right? So, but if you really you got scapegoated, the they were like, it's a lot. There's a lot more at play. Like, there was this one guy in Seattle who basically was running a political action group, like, to make it so that the Sonics would never get a new stadium. And he was interviewed and after. He's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone that hard. Well, now Howard Schultz, like, he, like, people hate him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was so much more, like, yeah. so much more at play. It was interesting. Yeah. Found the podcast interesting, and I was thinking of you. I, like, think. I know that guy, kind of, not really. <laughs> kind of know him. Yeah, kind of know him. What's Graham up to? Um, Graham is working and Stud. traveling, just yeah. doing his thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> good <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you guys ask? No, I just, I, I just like a, Graham. It's just a funny <laughs> thing to ask. It's a what? It's just a funny thing to ask. Why is it funny? I don't know. It's funny to be like, how's your marriage? <laughs> oh, what's new with the show? How's your intimacy with your husband? How are you guys? <laughs> my buddy uh. my buddy got married over COVID, and we did his bachelor party a year after, and when we were all just really fucked up at like 2 in the morning, one of my other friends literally was just like, so how was the first year of marriage? And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Graham recently. Where is he at? Walking. Pickleball court? I guess this was like a month ago. He was like, I was, t- I was right before I was going to Iceland, and it seemed like he wanted me to invite him to go to Iceland. Oh, <laughs> he probably did. Yeah. By the look on his face, it was like, yeah, it was like he was like he was doing like Frank the Tank. He was like, uh, I wish I could go. I've to always Iceland. wanted to go to Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have invited him, bro. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah, I was leaving so in like I was leaving in like five hours. seconds to just say, hey, come along. Yeah. yeah. I was literally leaving in within like two hours. He might be the type of dude who's like, all right, I'm in. Yeah, that would have been yeah, awesome yeah. for him. What a story. He 100% would have gone. Yeah. The clip of you realizing like that he doesn't drink, but you guys sat at the bar and took shots at oh, Robert. We would have made him drink. It's like my favorite thing ever. So Your guys' uh, podcast quality has been fantastic uh, as you travel everywhere, though, which I guess is a, a tip of the cap to your producer. Thank you. It always sounds great. Really <laughs> good. Seasoned veteran. Seasoned vet. And always good backdrops and everything. Where have where have the where have the backdrops been? Where where do you guys go? The last one was in Charlotte, but we always have to FaceTime Alana and say, "Give us the okay," you know. And then now we know how to set it up. We were there for the NASCAR race, and then we were in Dallas. Um, we're about to go on Pink Whitney tour, so we'll be like gone a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say, when's your where's your next trips? Um, Nashville. The opening of the the bar. Yep. Wait, when are you gonna be there? Um, that like whole week and then staying for the NASCAR race. June what? June like twenty fifth. Fourth. Oh, okay. We're going the week before. Wait, why are y'all going? Who's uh, tight end? You PMT's going for a day. For what? Uh, tight end you. Oh, I'm going to that. Oh, okay. So yeah. See you there. Okay. That's we're the going to tight end you. Look at that. <laughs> Did you watch Air? Yes. Un- okay. I-, I liked it, but I would have loved to have watched it at home. What'd you think? Where's Jordan? I think he said because he had such a big role in no, it. No, 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 you're no, no, a co-host. No. I, thought you, <laughs> I thought you meant where's Jordan? Yeah, where is she? Didn't come along. Face, you know, in the movie. Uh, they didn't show Michael. That was, that, that was my biggest was issue, my biggest qualm for sure. But where is Jordan Woodruff? Did you mean to do that set like that though to me? Set up. <laughs> yeah, you got. Uh, now do you miss him? Now do you miss him a little I bit do, more? Yeah. Was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always yeah. Yeah. You guys, and I feel go. like you know that, Brandon. You know that. It's fine. Talk about. <laughs> Wait, so where is George? We're tomorrow. She'll be in. What? We're rec- yeah. We've got a meeting upstairs at ten, and then we record at eleven. Two. We should booby trap the place. <laughs> yeah, we're go- we're meeting with like uh, like this whole strategy thing. What? She got? Can you think she you could book her for the act? She slammed. No, no, I didn't. I wasn't booked for the act. You haven't been to the office in a year. No. Did you get hit in the face with an iron going upstairs? <laughs> uh, I like welcome home. back. Yeah. <laughs> Just booby traps everywhere. <laughs> No, we could never do that to Jordan. No. The goat. You guys have attempted booby traps, though, before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Of course. Hard as fuck. Very hard. The Vietnamese really figured it out. Oh, man. They had some of the best booby traps in the world. Why are they called booby traps? Eight. I think it makes you think. That's a good question. 
I grabs you by the tits. I don't know. I really don't know why they're. Oh, let's find that out, TJ. Yeah. Inquisitive. I should know. There's always the food the the birds that show up called like the blue footed booby. Mm. Always gets a giggle out of me. That is funny. A blue footed booby. They have boobies. No, it's just a. Uh, I think just a regular breasted bird. Huh. Breasts no different from the rest of the birds that you'll see out in the animal kingdom. Who is gonna take over the mantle of being our like tits guy now that Nadu's gone? I mean, Glennie's. Yeah, Glennie's pretty. You can just step on that afloat. You heard Jeff Nadu's gone. I Alex? did. Yeah. It's all that. Any thoughts? Last words? A eulogy for him? No. Uh, no. Okay. I didn't know. Trap for a seabird known as a booby. Oh, it oh. was the booby bird oh. they were trying to capture. Ron. Oh, they got oh. Boob- they got boobies. Oh, did you know that? I didn't, but oh. I did know of the blue-footed oh. booby, the yeah, bird. I you know it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that there was the correlation, but you don't see the word booby that often these days. No. I really have blue feet. It's kind of a juvenile word. They said there's no cr- appropriate word for, like, boobies. They say breasts is too formal, boobs tits. is too goofy, oh. and tits is too... Vulgar, inf- crass. Vulgar. Tits is the right tone. Over boobs? Tits. Tits. I don't know. What about Us. cans? I feel... We used to we Jugs. used to say snaps in college, and then if a girl walked by with oh snap, pretty good. let everyone know. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that's like a, 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 that's respectful. Poets. That's respectful. That. I feel like that is it's a little like hey, <laughs> yeah. start snap. That Did can't snap be true. More? I never heard snaps when I walked by. <laughs> 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 Me either. It's okay. <laughs> Would you snap yeah. more if they had like a better rack? Just a quick like hey, <laughs> like okay, yeah, okay. They probably knew exactly what was happening. Yeah, probably. And you guys were all looking at her breasts, and you were all snapping. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, this is odd. Listen, that That's was not old. Discreet. I'm not like a doo-wop yeah. band. Yeah, <laughs> that was 18 yeah. years ago. Oh, bro. Because we're a gang. <laughs> <laughs> the Sharks and the Jets. All right, well, Alex, thank you for joining. Yeah. Of course, thanks for having me. It's good to see you all. Yeah. For real. So. YouTube rant. No, yes, he, he, I feel like he knows I'm kidding, but maybe not. Oh. No. I feel like the cookies have kind of slowed down, though. Yeah. I know it's not you, but maybe you, oh. could, you have her ear, though. You kind of have. What Kim ear. does is she just stuffs me with cookies like one day a month. Yeah, she's. She comes in with like also, five. Also, cocktails on Fridays completely stop. On. To a halt. On. I'm going to need to talk to her great, about her. Great work summer ethic. tradition. Yeah, yeah, get her in line. She doesn't please. make enough cookies now. When I mean, she does come once a month, it's like. She'll four make four, four, four different types yeah. of cookies for Big Cat, stretch the content over the month. Smart. She was making like a hundred cookies and they'd be gone in an instant. Okay, yeah. So good. The want. banana pudding one she made, I still think about it. Mm. Girl can cook. Yeah, she can. I agree with that. So good. Well, Alex, thanks for setting right, the record you, straight. It's oh, yeah. tough to come back in here sometimes and when everybody's gossiping, but it sounds like everything's right. on the straight well, and narrow. You're acting like a host right yeah, now. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Get on out of here. He just oh, yikes. Yeah. He just yeah. went, just went like a into a talk right. show yeah, host. Absolutely. Us thanks ladies. so much. Alex Bennett, people. I'm just saying. Okay, now that she's gone, sounds like trouble in paradise for those two. He just went, no, she got her Bob Barker shit. Thanks so much for playing The Price is Right. We'll see you later. That hurts, Brandon. Yeah. That, yeah, yikes. She, she was not like, kidding. She no. went right to it. She wasn't kidding at all. It went immediate. right to it. It was immediate. I mean, Brandon, she was going to say the exact same thing to me, but then we were like making eye contact. And so she was like, yeah, I kind of miss Ness, I guess. Yeah, she did say that. She doesn't miss you. Bro. I would have rather just been like, no. Oh, simple <laughs> eye contact with Alex Bennett. You communicated, don't say that to me. Yes. How'd you do that? It was uncomfortable. It was like uh, you lock eyes with someone. It's uncomfortable to give them bad information unless you're a fucking stone cold killer like Damon John off Shark Tank and from Fubu. <laughs> Damon John's not breaking eye contact. No, not either. No, because you're like Damon John. Not really. No, you're kind of like Lori. Hey, you are like Lori, just trying to get every every little trinket on QVC. Lori Lightfoot, bro. Yeah. Mm. Your your like, mayor you're like Lori Heavyfoot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. fat ass, sixty miles away. <laughs> She's not mayor anymore. Either. Well, whoever's the mayor of Chicago, they're not my mayor. Yeah, See, Jeff I got some bad news for you, buddy. I'm sixty miles away. You might like his name. I know his name. He's a Brandon. Mm-hmm. Oh. Brandon Johnson. Yeah. Brandon Brothers. D'Lo tweeted about you. Oh no! Breaking news. Oh. Yeah. The suit. Oh, statement. Nobody is dumber than the idiot who spoiled the dozen on the live show. But close second are all the dicks who feel the need to reply to tweets or quote tweets things. Yeah. Further spreading the spoiled news for the many people who didn't know already. It makes you just as much a selfish asshole. Oh, that's you calling suck. me a selfish asshole. Thank you. Yeah, no, he's you're the baseline of selfish asshole. 
well, other people accident. are aspiring to be. That was a good throw. Dang, man. And D'Lo don't get mad at anybody. Oh, no, no, he no, never no. is mad about that. Tim Hitchings is taking a victory lap <laughs> about being a winner now. Yeah, he's a winner. He deserves it. How long do you think this will last? Long time coming for Tim Hitchens. No, he's a winner for life. I'll never revoke his winner status. D'Lo's uh, a fuck. D- or Jeff D'Lo's out in fucking Chi Town right now. Is he? He's already there, warming it up. And do you guys oh, wait? Oh, the Is everyone who goes? Uh, we might not be there. TJ and the baddies. We have to play them tonight. Oh, okay. So we'll see. And that was not a spoiler because I genuinely don't know who's going. What? Could never be. I might be there. What happened? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering. I'm, I'm looking up the lights. Oh, okay. I see. Brandon will be there. Not. Ha. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm in treading in bad waters right Kyle, now. Kyle, yours is already aired. You, you, oh, f- yeah. I'm yeah we'll watch we part. lost. We lost. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, but you could might. Um, you might be able to. Like we don't know who will be there is the answer. Yeah. I, I, I don't know who's going to be there either. We have no idea who's going to Well, clearly be. you guys know because now you're getting all fucking weird about it. Well, it could be us. could be TJ. Could be right. Brandon Seam. Could Let's be just AFC move on. Let's just stop talking about the dozen. There, there was yeah. a yeah. divisive moment in a match that has aired with uh, Kirk's team. No, don't bring this up because this didn't even re- register online. Oh, yeah. Let's bring it yeah, up. Wait, wait, Let's not bring this up. Versus my, my team? Correct. What happened? Well, Kirk, this We're is sure aired. this is out? We're sure this aired? This, this aired. aired last yeah. night. So Kirk had a, a phone a friend uh, of a fairly easy music question that he couldn't put his uh, finger on what the tune was. Brandon knew it and helped Team Minahan get the victory over Frank, Frank and the Frank, Frank S, S. despite having many of his friends on the roster close He's friends. I, did, his only I didn't friend. think that was controversial. Nick. Nick, yeah. it, that hurt Nick more than I've seen anything hurt Nick that's ever happened in the office, and I smoked him in the face with a football. Yeah. There's a reason why Nick's not here this week. He's mourning no, that. Sabbatical. Moment. We said take a couple of days. Not. Oh, he's not here because he said he said I need some time after He's Brandon. in the woods. He was, he was like, I don't even know what I'll do if I see Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust myself. I will answer. If you ask me, I will answer it. I was in. I was sitting very close to Brandon during that, and it was right near Nick's seat, and that's the maddest I've ever seen Nick. He was legitimately furious. I, yeah, but I disagree because I don't want a muddy W like that. Yeah. It's not how the game works. I, but, but a muddy L gives them. you moral high ground. And it's really embarrassing. They didn't know every morning right. by Sugar Ray. Yeah, that is embarrassing. But didn't you just say the uh, artist? No, it was the song. He he aired it wrong. He oh, it was his fault. Oh, Jeff D. Lowe's to blame. No, oh, on the on the on the <laughs> screen, <laughs> the question was wrong. Okay. He asked what was the song, and on the screen it said, "All right, well let's let all right let's move past all this. Let's clean it up, Brandon. Let's 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 go forward. Um, let's first do a high noon ad. Yes. <laughs> Brandon, uh, paper airplane me that high noon ad. Just banging it off the tee. It's so easy. High noon. He, what, what have you done with yourself? Look at all of this. He's One just thing soiled, after another. He's soiled his pants. Nonstop reminders. Gillis Elter by High Noon. It's made with a clean finish with real Blanco tequila. And man, is it delicious. That's the thing that I want to underline the most about this ad read is how damn good it tastes, how refreshing, and how well it pairs with sunlight. If it's a beautiful day, if it's hot, if it's muggy. In fact, I looked over from Brooklyn today. I couldn't see the city because there was so much haze in the air. And I thought, what better way to cut that thick smog than with a delicious, crispy, perspiring high noon wet with the expectation of being drank, sucked down, high noon tequila seltzer, available nationwide. Strawberry, lime, grapefruit, passion fruit. And you can get some if you're outdoors, if you're indoors, or if you have one foot in each of those realms. Look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. Great ad read. It wasn't fair what you did talking about Where's Jordan. That was... I knew I kind of knew what you were itching around, and you fucking got it. Yeah, I got it. It worked. He so excitedly had seen the movie. <laughs> yeah, as a Nike head, you he knew. also hated they didn't show Michael. But which in ref, I don't hate it. I think it would have ruined. I think it adds to it. it. Yeah, some guy that barely looked like I. St- uh, right, he's him. he's one of the only guys you can't. Like, have, have you seen else this play. new LeBron movie that they're about to come out with? 
Really? They're coming out with a LeBron movie where someone just plays LeBron who looks nothing like LeBron. Super unique face on that man. Yeah. Hard to do. Yeah, like even Will Smith did a pretty good job with Ali. Yes, but I'll, but there's enough time passed where it's like yeah. Ali is not in everybody's collective, for the foreground of their consciousness. Right. Like LeBron is still at his athletic peak. Yeah. He should have just played himself. Right. This is LeBron? But let me see the... Like you that can't even tell looks which one. Which one? Like no, it's the one on the right. No, the absolutely. Right. Yeah. He kind of. Him? Yeah. It's a different shape. <laughs> nice. Did he just shoot lefty? Yeah, there's other guys on the team. But that was LeBron, I assume. Is LeBron wearing his jersey going down the road? Is that Wood Harris? What is up these? Is it supposed to be like f- fantasy? Him in high school. They're all coming together and his lifelong friends and stuff. Wait, he is shooting lefty. That's not LeBron. That's LeBron. Why are they showing highlights of... Okay, that LeBron can't like shoot? Him. That's him? No. It's a perfect plane. Yeah, and I caught it. You destroyed it. You wouldn't have made it on D-Day, brother. They destroyed a lot of planes that day. Wait, go back. I want to see the, the initial... Boats, you fool. Is this not LeBron in the gym and he shoots lefty? That's LeBron, right? I don't think here? that's LeBron. No, that's not. That cannot be. Me and my boys, we've been balling with each other since we were. That's LeBron on the right. right. Yeah. Oh, that looks. That was good. But that's not him. It's probably just a picture of. Wait, well, that's not him. That's that's him. The guy that passed that ball was the guy that shoots lefty. It's a bad sign for this movie if you can't tell which one is supposed to be LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. They probably call him LeBron. What Harris is sneaky? Watch out. You watch out. Maybe you see some new faces. This is Mr. Travis. What if they like sensationalize it and he's just getting in shootouts and shit? You're like, I don't think LeBron got bullied in high school. No, <laughs> you better watch the shit. fuck out. He was a little, the little tiny boy. He was my inspiration. Maverick Carter? The real short one that would shoot threes. That kind of looks like LeBron. Why didn't they just have Bronny Jr. play LeBron? That would have made a lot of Maybe sense. Probably not a good actor. Act. <laughs> Come on, dude. You know he can act. Phase Clan? He's fucking Phase Clan. Of course he can act. He's By the, trash. Shut. By the way, this bag right here, uh, we're doing a golden mug today for Stella Blue. So, giveaway. Five golden mugs being sent out if you buy anything on Stella Blue Coffee today. Uh, comes with the bag, a new driver. Uh, what are these called? Stealth. stealth the Stealth. Driver and That's a club tailor made, yeah. Tailor made stealth. Oh, wow, yeah. Can I do a personal ad too, sure. Fuck it wasn't yeah. personal, a little well, barstools. It's a barstool company. I won't do my personal ad. Do your personal ad. I'd like to hear the personal ad. Oh. Plug your personal. No, let's make sure your agent gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> Who the yeah. hell is that? My phone or your phone? Yours, yeah. It's the team, they're hitting me up. <laughs> Do another ad. <laughs> Actually, ad now, now, now. Now's the perfect time. Yeah. Monica. Pathetic. Oh. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. I'm a sharpshooter. What do you guys think about this live tour shit? Pretty wild. Fucking crazy. Crazy. The live golfers are the smartest people on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. So rich. Although, they got paid and then they got paid. So I, I have a, t- I got to talk to an expert because I obviously am not, but. Like, if you're a PGA Tour guy, you're mad right now, but aren't you happy overall? Because you're just going to make more money now. And you're still so rich that uh, you're going to No, I think you're mad that like you missed who? the first wave of money. Right, but that has passed. And you stood your ground. And you're right. You stood your ground on the moral high ground, and the PGA Tour went behind your back and, and got rid of the moral Agreed. high ground. Agreed. Right now, you're pissed. It's pretty crazy. At the crazy. end of the day, you get to be like, I stood my ground, and you're going to get more money. You're going to get more money, but you were it, it, like somebody that was the face of. Yeah, there's a few live. guys who have an extra, but I'm saying like the average PGA Tour golfer probably can I don't be think like. The average PGA Tour golfer was ever really affected as much anyway. But I think they'll get guaranteed money now. Yeah. This will help. Yeah, they'll get more money. It just seems like it's impossible to like maintain your like clean morality no matter what you do. Like these guys stayed at the PGA intentionally to try and keep a clean conscience, and then the PGA is just like, no, nah, we're gonna work with them anyway. Yeah, we'll take that money. Right. And it's like no matter what you do, like you assess like how you live your lifestyle, like the fucking Nikes you ha- are probably made by like this, or like the fucking mm-hmm. clothes you wear were probably unsustainably like uh, made, or like the food you make was like, or the food you eat is like probably 
unsustainably like farmed. You know, like there's just it, it's impossible to have your own morality. Well, only that's one. Why I just I would have been first wave going over to get that Saudi money years because ago. it's like yeah, I would have been yeah. I would have been on that for You're sure. Taking dirty money regardless. Just take the dirty money up front. Oh. It's money. Two All years, and, and they spent two years telling us Phil Mickelson was an asshole, and now he's just that's right. We just we're gonna say they're gonna celebrate him again. Yeah, Phil was right. right. Oh, uh, Jay Mo- Mo- Moynihan is Monahan. Monahan is the biggest asshole. But I see the guy from the PGA that, the one that maybe I just there. think of it lo- like I try to think of like the win and shit. And like if you're just a regular PGA golfer, you you're pissed right now, and you have a right to be pissed. Do you think you will get more money from this? You think we'll eventually Barstool will merge with the sit down podcast, and that'll come back in. Mm. Yeah. Listen, if the Saudis want to buy Barstool for the sit down, maybe that's really? the deal he had with the Saudis. Maybe they get along with Amish. I don't think they. They probably they might not really know about each other. They might not have a take Amish. on the. But they're both Orthodox, huh. so like there could be a uh, similar beliefs. I was googling around today. The Saudis own like a ton of our water. Yeah, and our cana- they own everything. They own like 150 thousand acres of canals. And I'm pretty like, sure they own. Uh, hi- they own highways and transportation systems here, and then they own all the parking meters in Chicago. Shut up. Yeah, no, really? I, heard, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago sold all the parking meters. Uh, Richard Daly, the old mayor, uh, sold all the parking meters, and I think maybe O'Hare too, to the Saudis. But so my and like China, I'm putting on my tinfoil hat. China owns like 250 thousand acres of American farmland. Why aren't we? What are we? Where are we buying? I know that 9/11 was was bad. Uh, were what? the people who were the people who have who are in charge of all this, were they linked to 9-11? Or are they, are they just both Saudi Arabian? I, I don't, know. don't know. We should probably have someone who knows. I'm more I of a know. World War II guy. Right. I day. think so, but I get what your question guys? is. No, I don't know. I don't even know what, what you're asking. I don't know what you're asking. The the guys who, did the who funded 9-11, are those guys still walking the... around buying the PGA Tour? Are they similar? Uh, is it is it a Bush? similar pile of cash oh. that they're pulling all this shit from? I don't think. And so so is it then everyone, they're, is it a Jamal Khashoggi? Are they the same people that did that? Yes. Yeah, the, the same Crown people? Yes. yes. Those are, yes. That's the same guy. The same people who killed this guy. Yes. yes. I'm not participating. I'm just saying. Why? In case they ever buy Barstool or buy the True. Walker family, I I, I, I respect You want to be Saudi for sale overlords. at the... Okay. I'll take whatever they want to pay me for whatever. It's just funny to Solid be like, deal. the Saudis are doing this, the Saudis are doing this. Mm-hmm. It just makes you sound like if you're if anyone's like, yeah, the Chinese are doing like all this shit. Yeah. That's me right now. The China, they're buying all our farmland. Everybody start freaking out. No, I don't know. Um, I don't understand any you- of it. Did you randomly host the show again like you did earlier? Well, I was trying to make a joke, and then oh. as soon as she left, I was going to talk yeah. shit, but I but it fell apart because I got roasted. Quickly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got five. I liked it. You only I liked talk it. in five second spurts. I know. So you got to get it out fast. I do. I do. <laughs> yep. So, Go ahead. Them Saudis. Oh. But like, could they buy the if they wanted to? Could they buy like, the MLB? Oh, they'd be like, we're gonna. This is ours now. We'd like to buy it. I feel like maybe. Not that seems the too whole costly. MLB. That seems like an expensive thing. I guess they maybe have, not. Like, so they have much unlimited money. money. But is it? You, but buy, is, you don't buy the, the yeah. League, you, you buy, buy teams. teams. Yeah, they no, bu- they bought that's true. EPL teams. They just tried to buy the Formula One. Oh, they did. You they have tried money to. like that. Didn't they just buy Newcastle? They bought Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. But Formula they, One's like I, UFC, where it's like a league where everything happens. That's why golf was susceptible because you could buy individual. It's individual players that don't have contracts to teams. Uh, you can't buy the Dallas Cowboys players because they're all contracted. To the Dallas if Darts Cowboys. is next, you think Tiger Woods is pissed? So he turned he, down a he, billion dollars. I don't think he. Uh, he has to know. be. He would have to be pissed if you turned down a billion dollars. I guess it's a question of like, and I, I'm not the moral police here, but like a guy like Tiger kept his legacy intact where he didn't jump at the first second. Yeah. Well, one of his and legacies. he is going to make more money now. That's kind of my point. One of his legacies. One of his legacies. He took, assault, he took shots at his legacy. It's kind of like how much do you value, like, your long-term legacy is the question. Not at all. Probably not $100 million, I don't know. And what kind of things grand? play into it? Right. Like, is it going to be a line in your obituary? Like, I think Rory, is, he, start, he stopped talking about the live the last couple of months. I feel like he got a, a deal. Mm. So he got to play both sides where he was like, 
mm. face of like morality, and then he also gets the money. Then there were reports today that he didn't know this announcement was coming. He didn't know this was happening. That's what they were all saying. Most of them, did. of them didn't know, did. but Rory's the one guy who was like the face of it, and he Rory had a stopped. very cha- like distinct change in tone the last couple of months. Mm. Mm. Again, this is all me guessing. I have no, I f- no fucking idea. I'm just spitting takes. It's probably all wrong. It's fun to do. You sound yeah. right. Nah, I mean, oh, by the way, Josh Allen did hit me back. Uh, he said he could throw a javelin 95 meters. So where would that? I think that puts him right at that the That means he has the, the world, world record, record line. Okay, so, so there's that debate. Is he guessing? No, he said 95 meters. Is he guessing? No, he said I could throw it 95 meters. Okay. Has he ever thrown one 95 meters? I'll say yes. You don't know? No, but I'm going to take his word for it. 95 Who meters. did this one? This one sucks. That's yours. No, mine was perfect, symmetrical. Also, Phil Hughes might be a yak listener. Remember Yankee pitcher? The right-hander yeah. from he the He texted Yankees? me and was like, any any pitcher could throw a javelin very far. Well, then why the fuck don't they? Like Olympic because they don't make far? any money. Get out of the league. Go, the don't throw the javelin. Go to K- Tokyo or Barcelona or wherever the next Olympic. Saudi Arabia should buy javelin. Yeah. Yeah. The jav tour. <laughs> they put, put just the, the all the political dissidents in a field. Yeah. Like Apocalypto, drain down javelin on them. Mm. That was jab talk for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Waited a while today. Josh Allen hit me up and said, I could not even come close to throwing a 95, but I'm going to tell Big Head I'm gonna, I could throw a 95. Shit. I got God? You got God. That's just me and Josh, though. We fuck around like that. Uh, that's why they call him Josh. Constantly scheming. Fuck. He's a scheme demon. That hurts. He's an absolute yeah. scheme devil. I'm sure. That really hurts. You think you know a guy? Running right all my life. Do you think Jersey Jerry has a, a lawsuit on his hands for not getting all the furniture from his? <laughs> <laughs> He's 100% serious, by the way. No, no I thought chance. he knew. It. Yes, I th- he is. I thought he knew it was furnished. What the way he, he was talking to me via text and Dave, it seemed like he was like flabbergasted that he didn't. You think the cars in the garage were going to be his? Probably. Are they going to leave the dentist chairs at least? Or Hopefully. No? I can't believe how he talked about his cousin in that one video. Which one? The one who, uh, like, goes into Home Depot, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, intentionally yeah, yeah, yeah. damages shit and then buys it. <laughs> what? He, you didn't see, see that one? Show no. Thing, cousin bangs his the face. boards on the floor and stuff and gets a 50% discount at the <laughs> register. Uh-huh. But if I do this, then I, no, no. But what I'm saying is I can always get this piece can go over. See that the groove? Yeah, I could put this over the. I went to buy sheetrock and started damaging it to the point where we put no fucking shit on no YouTube, bro. I'm not. I'm not putting up. I just trying to show the world that you're a bubblegum worker. That's all. Me, I'm a bubblegum worker. Yeah, bubblegum worker. Bubblegum worker. Bubblegum. Sorry, Jersey Jerry. Sorry, pal. Why don't you go to Walmart? Wait, so that's, what, what, that's I, gotta be like a big. What was he doing? Yeah. He was banging boards. Jersey Jerry will no, he'll say anything. Remember he on advisors he was like, Yeah, my cousin is fucking Zach Wilson. <laughs> he just said it. That's probably Joe Rogan's dad in that video. I know, it looked like yeah. it. You don't want to have I'm to bub- open I'm up. I'm bubblegum. Yeah. I'm bubblegum. Yeah. I'm a bubblegum worker. <laughs> Joey, we don't want to have to open up Pandora's box. Why don't you go to Walmart? Okay. <laughs> Eric <laughs> off. Uh by the way. We're sponsored by Shady Rays. Why don't you use Shady Rays? This is your ad. I don't have it. You have a million yeah. fucking pieces of paper at your feet. You made bubble them all gum worker. You're a bubblegum worker. Pick up the ad. Take bubble on gum. the sun with gear built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered for the warm weather ahead with premium polarized shades and an affordable price. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as any expensive pair we've worn. Durable frames and extremely clear optics for all your outdoor adventures. And that's not all. Shady Rays offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements. If you don't love them, exchange for a new pair or return them for free with 30 days. There's no risk when you shop with Shady Rays. Their team always has your back. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com. Use code YAK. Try for yourself. The Shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. Shady Rays are the best sunglasses, and they're sunglasses that you can, you know, go to the bar with and, and know that, hey, Shady Rays got your back. 
50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. ShadyRays.com. Use code YAK for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. Shady Rays, baby. Give it to us, Sass. Shady Rays. Shady Rays. Ah, I can't. I don't have it right now. Why? I don't have a, What's I going on, buddy? That headache. Why don't you Everybody? drink that Red Bull? Did. Oh, okay, good. D-day. It's because it's D-Day. Yeah, sorry. Sometimes the lights in here fuck with my eyes. It's also warm in here today. I ever get you guys? It is a little warm in here. It's so it goddamn bright. You want me to turn them down? You not ready for them? No, nah, it's fine. Turn the lights down. Survive. You're not ready for the bright lights, son? Get a little more comfortable in here. Yeah. Ooh. That's not nice. Oh! So much. Why is Ron always in a spotlight? What the hell? Look at that. <laughs> this one. The halo. Wait, so KB... What is the conclusion to this Everest drama? It seems like... I think he just has a bunch of people who are against him now. But it feels like he's he's kind of like Zuckerberg doing the, like, now he's making more attention to it. Like yeah, Zuckerberg I don't know, didn't I don't get know if he's out. all that big. He has, like, 3,000 followers, and but it, all of his comments are... I'm sorry, it seems like an all-time dick reaction, though. Yeah, guy saved your life? But his career is over. I mean, you can't. I can't imagine if you're an Everest tour guide and you almost die at the top yeah, of the mountain. I don't mountain. know. Yeah, I don't want to pay that over. guy. Sign up with that but his guy. name is Everest. Yeah, I could have very easily gotten the story wrong. I just read like a headline. No, I think I read that too. There was Did four big. Headline? There was that story. Did you see the guy stuck in the crevasse that they were digging out this past week? What? No. Leave One, is there a video leave of it? Always. Yes, leave there's him video. There. Everest hiker crevasse. Like he fell down in one of those things. And so another two other guys had to like it, there was like this much space had to go down and dig him out and it's just his head and arms sticking out and this like icy crevasse. That's a whole Holy new economy at ever saving people. Then another I guy, I think he might have died, but it was like that mascot coming down, totally limp, and the thing from the helicopter that was. An, and then there was mascot? this camp. I don't know what you, you, Rocky the oh, the guys, I'm following her Nuggets oh. Nuggets mascot. Yeah, it was like a Nuggets mascot situation. You've never seen that clip, Sass? It's the funniest clip like ever. The the Nuggets mascot passed out in his suit when he was getting lowered from the oh. roof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh he's like really? limp coming down. Find that DJ. I was wondering That's if that hilarious. was who you were talking about ever. at first. If that was the guy getting like lowered down at the end. And then the last one was the some group of the hikers up there left like the craziest trash pile you've ever I seen. I saw that. And I don't Crash know. It's bad, Everest. bad. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, all right, Kate. Those were those oh, were good stories. Thank die you. all the time. Uh, thanks for coming. Everest for my five seconds. I think on people Everest. get all, they, they when they see people died, they it motivates them more to yeah, accomplish. It seems, oh, yeah. Because the danger factor goes back up. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like this killed other men. I am. I'm right. a better man than that person. Yeah. 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 I think I would just stop right there and die. Well, we know we had an Everest guy on. He said he couldn't do it. I, would die with yeah, but y'all, do y'all tell him outside? No, you guys got to learn it's Spanish with me. Who wants to learn Spanish with me? Oh, yeah. How's that going? It's kind of fun. Yeah? Can you say uh, something fun now? No, yeah. I'm not even going to try to speak. Por favor, mantengo en serio. Learn in the base. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sass. Yeah, this is kind of what the video is oh like. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was someone getting oh, stuck in the suit. <laughs> but it was someone getting low. Did they, did they show him touching the ground? He's passed <laughs> out in the suit. He's just fucking done. Dude. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. Such a funny clip. He was okay? Yeah, he, he was okay. Fine. He must have thought he died, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like how they just kept filming from multiple angles. <laughs> Sorry, so cut to five. Funny. Cheerleaders kept doing seven. their routine. Yeah. yeah. It's a legend for that. Pan in. Damn. I don't think I'm going to do Everest. What? I don't think I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Well, yes, when I was you probably could like do in like it. ten years, I'll do it. You could do it. Yeah. Well, a lot of people reached out to t- tell me I couldn't. Why? Huh. Why would someone reach out? People reached out. Went out of their way to tell me I couldn't. Mike Posner did. Mike Posner did Everest. He reached out. <laughs> Mike Posner had a, a baby snake take him down. Yeah, in Colorado. That sucked for him so bad. That, I, no just don't, one, I don't understand the walking across. And no one cared him. until he almost died. That, was, that would be <laughs> horrible. What did he walk across? He tried to walk America. across America. What would you do if you had to do one or the other? He did, didn't he? What? Everest or walk across America. That's like a dream Definitely of Definitely Everest, but I think it actually takes similar... Because I some I saw some videos of some dudes doing that right now, or he did it, and it took him four months, but he went from Canada to Mexico. Take similar time or that like was like four months. I'm just thinking of like Kansas like alone. Time. Yeah, it's probably pretty boring. But there's certain trails that I'm sure are scenic the entire way. Biking across would be. Fun. You gotta go through. 
I had a teacher who did that. Great really? Yeah. How long would that take? I think that took him a while, but not obviously. Probably like a month. Probably like two months. If you do 100, 100 miles a day. I did but a I don't walk think, from can the body take a hundred miles a day. You just go downhill. There's a dude yeah. that's there's a dude that's actually walking right now across all of Africa. The I saw that guy who's pissing he's blood pissing from blood. south to north. He's pissing yeah. blood. Yeah. He was pissing he's blood. blood. Seems and he's like uh, he's like sometimes you just yeah. gotta push your limits. It's like oh, dude, what's you're gonna go die. With that? He hasn't even left South Africa, I don't think. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> South, <laughs> south Africa. Blood. Yeah. Oh, no. Last last time I checked, he hadn't <laughs> left South Africa. Oh, he's going up. He's going up. Southern more than ten. You gotta go downhill. You gotta go down. That's silly. That's Bro, dumb. Some of those countries he's gonna go through, man. They're gonna uh, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <He's going laughs> Who is like this dude? Zones. Is he African? Can we pull himself? it up? Billy oh, tweeted. I think Billy tweeted about it. That uh, ew. Really walk like through the borders? British you can't ginger? even like drive up the. Oh, it's East a Coast British dude. I think it's a British ginger. Yeah, do they? Yeah, I think he's English. If I'm like, yeah. Oh, uh, he'll be dead by next week. And, and he was like, but he's like been pissing blood. I th- he should have gone to the doctor by now. I wonder if he updated. I'm sure that you know. No, because he said he was gonna go the next day. England doesn't have any maybe if ginger, with Maybe Africa. ginger piss is just red. <laughs> no, it was piss and blood. It was actually he was. gross. Yeah. Huh. But he tried to make it like a motivating thing. Yeah, look at him. <gasps> oh, dude. Game is the game. The ga- what? <laughs> failing the mission. The game We're is on level winning. one. I mean, his that's kidneys so, that's were That's a lot of failing. blood. The Walmart parking lot. I guess you got to do it if you're the first ever. Like, there's not many first evers, right? Left? No. It's probably been done. You don't Walked think it's ever been the, done? All of Africa? Nah. No, Magellan's ass didn't do it. be many first ever. I mean, I'm sure someone's done it in their lifetime. There's the documentary about the guys that ran from the east to the west of Africa, and they were all there was like three dudes doing it together, and one guy like pretended to be hurt. And like was just like I'm just gonna walk ahead, and then he like ran and like left the other two. No dudes way! Behind. They were so pissed. He just like wanted to oh, finish first on his own. Absolute asshole. Am I wrong in saying that pissing blood is almost never minor? I've done it before. You pissed blood? Uh, hell? When? When? Yeah. Be a mild infection. I thought pissing blood was like I thought it was bad that was news. It. Yeah, like you started pissing blood, and you're like, yeah, something's horribly wrong. Yeah, it seems pretty bad. Because those, I feel like, should never, those wires should never Shouldn't cross. cross. Oh. Same with yeah, I didn't piss. Yeah, those pipes run I had a, parallel. I had a kidney stone once. And that wasn't, I did not piss blood. I want to correct. I took to, I overdosed on vitamin C. Yeah. And was pissing like neon yellow. Kidney stones are the most intimidating, normal thing that happens to people. They're so painful. Oof. And I hope this guy doesn't Same die. Because I would feel bad about birth. making fun of him. Rihanna Chicken Fry said he's, he's walking he's got like five a, kidney stones. Uh, Oh. He's going through it. Just when you're dead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think Large gets him like every month. Yeah. He got gout. Oh, yeah, he's got gout. gout. Which is kind of a badass thing to have. It is literally the like rich Man's, disease. Yeah. yeah. He has had too much like pork. Too much. Yeah, too much red meat and wine. Red meat, yeah. yeah. Like all the kings of England used to get it. The hemophiliacs and incestuous bastards. How do you get kidney stones just from eating like shit? No, I. I think they can just happen. No diet soda causes kidney stones. Isn't it iron? Yeah. It's iron? Mine was specifically because I, like, had too much vitamin C. Yeah, that makes sense. I was trying to beat COVID. Yeah. With vitamin C. Heard about that one. Because that's, like, with the, even with, like, dummy vitamins, you're not supposed to take. Yeah, I, I overdosed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I OD'd. Did. I did. I took, you weren't getting was, COVID, so, I mean. I, I can't remember what. It was something. We were doing something. It was like a st- crazy stretch at Barstool where I had to do a shitload of work. And I was like, I cannot get sick. And I was just chugging. Um, what's the fucking? Uh, Airborne. Like, oh. Airborne. <laughs> and it was bad. Yeah. Can they be so big that your doctor's like, we have to do surgery? Or yeah. like, no, it'll make yes. its way out no matter they how. They shoot it with lasers. They knock it. Uh, they yeah. Over oh, it. Did you lasers. Bust it up. I didn't have to do that. I pissed mine out. Ugh. I don't think mine was like that severe because it was self-inflicted. What's the biggest one? Out? Yeah, see, like, I biggest. felt it come out. Because they're bet. jagged. Have you ever seen them under a microscope? They're like yeah. Yeah. They're like. It was like a rock. I pissed out a rock. I was in yeah. pain for like two days where I felt like I had to piss at all times. And like my dick hurt. And, and just, it just Yeah, that. it was literally like that. I was like, oh, shit, that might have like been the it. It's relief. Oh, it felt so good. Damn. Yeah, I gotta get one. It does. It is worth it for that alone. A sweet, sweet release. To pass it. And yeah. it's, it's a an odd body part to hurt, though. My dick hurts. Yeah, no, my dick hurt a lot. What if like that was like pearls, 
and like people wanted to collect them and put them into jewelry. <laughs> yeah. So then I started taking. So when I I didn't I never went to the doctor. I probably should have. I started taking cranberry pills. How did you know you had one? Because it, well, I knew yes, once right. I pissed it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. So I yeah. I started taking cranberry pills to try to like get my piss going, and then yeah. my piss was literally like neon yellow between Damn. the vitamin C and the cranberry. Jesus, it was Christ, nuts. Dude. I'm dreading it. You have one? No, like the, you know, the possibility of getting it. Yeah. yeah. I just hope I'm fluent in Spanish by that time. <laughs> so what are you taking? Rosetta Stone. You're doing Duolingo, right? Duolingo. And how how would you say it's One coming? class you pass. Is all it takes. We find like a first like a introductory no, I'm still, Spanish. I'm still on unit four. You find an introductory still learning Spanish the, test. Like the hell. Still learning the very. Best way to do it is to speak colloquially, brother. I know. You got to get in with. Uh, Have you done your ustedes? Nosotros. Nosotros. Not even that. No soy. Re- soy. Starting from the big. Yamo. Me gusta. Oh my God, your accent's perfect, Sam. Me gusta. <laughs> I feel like I'm back. Uh, me gusta. Yeah. You too. Right over here, Albano. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? Tambien. <laughs> All the stuff. Do you know Tambien? Tambien? Yeah. Tambien? Isn't that like, and you also. too? Yeah. Oh, also. Yeah. E- e too. Fuck. Tambien. E is, uh, I'm still on like the girl. <laughs> How do you say that? La niña. Niña? Yeah. yeah. You know who's great to practice with? Uh, mi profesora. She does some of the cleaning around the office. Ooh, and that's my goal. Yeah, I practice with her all the time. Just like, uh, and she'll just tell me like different names of fruits. She said, ba- "I thought banana. I thought it was banana. It is it's banano." She said, "Banano." Oh, she masculine. said, "Banano." That's bullshit. Manzana. Oranjo. Manzana. Manzana. Orange. That's orange. Yeah, Oranjo. Oh, Manzana is an apple. I don't think I'm gonna ever. Yeah, I might give up. No, no, no. Oh, keep you just going. gotta get a job in the uh, kitchen. That's what helped me. That's I got how I learned like Jamaican. Seth, <laughs> 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 so you're on one today. No, I'm about a zombie. Learned in the kitchen. <laughs> what did you do last night? Too much games? No, I, I just like... Where's I, little Sasquatch? <laughs> <laughs> I just like, uh, I don't know, I'm just tired. He's a little yeah. irie boy. <laughs> a little tiry boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaicans <laughs> in the restaurants were crazy. They are... Homophobic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like you've never seen. I worked at diners in high you. school, and it was a lot of Middle Eastern. Also, Eastern similar Bruce? vibe. Homophobic. Yeah. Homophobic. I was so goddamn bad at that job. Yeah. What was it? I was a bus boy. I didn't know this. Where? Uh, Massachusetts. Well, what restaurant? It was called the Windsor House, but it closed. Mm. What was some oh, no. of your experiences? Yeah, it did. Did you get bullied? Oh yeah, they hated me. How were you bad at being a busboy? Just because it was a big restaurant, so there was like two hundred something tables. Be hustling at all times. They're like, bring this one to eighty three D, and you're like, I don't know where the fuck eighty three D is. So then you have to look at the map of where it is, and then you go out, and you're like, wait, I forget where it is. You got to go back. And <laughs> look at the map. Explain a mistake that you made, like uh, at someone's Brutal. table. An embarrassing mistake that you made. I think I've, I feel like I've told this story before, but the biggest one I made was there was a party of like sixteen that came in, and. Uh, it's, they brought out the f- like it was. I was in the kitchen and someone brought out the fish tacos and they put them under like the hot lamp thing. Yeah. And I looked at the receipt and I said, "Oh shit, the fish tacos! I'm gonna bring these out." Brought them out. Uh, apparently, I brought them out like an hour before everyone else's food was ready, or like 30 minutes before. So. That doesn't people, seem like that bad of a mistake. But it was a massive party and one person had their food 30 minutes before everyone else. Did they eat it? I don't know. They just came back and everyone started yelling at me, asking who brought the fish tacos. And I was like, I have no idea. And then they found out it was me and I was hiding in the dish pit. <laughs> and then they brought and then the chef brought me up to the manager's office and we all had to sit down. Dude, the inner workings of those big diner restaurants yeah. are like, yeah. it's their own fucking. There's so much drama and there's oh, so yeah. much. It's like so incestuous. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. What does that mean? Everyone's fucking. Like, everyone's other. fucking everyone. Oh, they're fucking each Yeah, but not. Everyone, they're, it's like. Hot, like, hotly, though. Helping, like, certain people, like, helping pluck for the best shifts and the best spots and the best whatever. And, like, and the grossest stabbing. dudes are yeah. fucking. I know. Hottest oh, yeah. And it's kind Always. of a fun life, it seems like. I think it's fun yeah, if you're good, good at it. 
like a pirate ship. I love yeah. that. Like if you know what love you're doing, it's, it's, it's like it's like. Yeah. You become friends with I'm them. in the weeds right now. Like, fuck. You're, you yeah. probably get so horny after a hectic shift. Him. We'd all yeah. smoke out back, and then you become friends with you. You all start hanging out because you work such weird hours, too, that you all start hanging out together. You get hooked on Percocets like, and Xanax. Yeah, they all do pills. Yeah, yeah, that's the best. I, they, they, they demoted me after that. I got, I got I, They just brought me downstairs because it was like a seafood place, and I had to crush Below me. a bus board. Yeah, I had to oh, crush ice parks. constantly for oysters. They have a machine that literally oh, crushes Literally, I would just load up this thing with ice all day, and it was way better. I just sat in the basement. It's way better. I remember the guy who owned this diner refused to buy more glassware. It was like a 50s diner, and they did fancy dessert, so a lot of... All the little like softball and t-ball stadiums where all the parks were like right there. And so after the games, they'd bring entire little kid teams in and they'd all order like milkshakes and sundaes and whatever. And because there wasn't any extra glassware, all the stuff was always just coming out of the washer, which yeah. they're like so hot you can barely touch yeah. them. And so we'd be making sundays in these boiling hot glasses and sending out just Melts like right away. sludge. Oh. And it was, so and, but he refused to fix washers. it. And he'd be like, you deal with them, you deal with them. And it's like- these like furious parents with their kids just full of melty like whatever. I like a little oh, melt on that. my Sunday. Yeah, me I was, too. I was well, a caterer was pretty... in, in college. That sucked. Yeah. That sucks. Why? Just having to walk around with food and hope. Like people what type care. of events? Like, Is it like uh, on campus? Yeah, there was yeah. like they opened like a new like symphony hall, like theater and would all you my rather people jobs. would you rather people talk to you when when you met them or would you rather them uh, just take it just take it and leave just me take it and go and the faster you can get it your plate cleaned the faster you can go back and then kind of you know loaf loaf for a little bit and then get a new plate yeah I should have just worked worked in retail I think that was more my speed yeah That's bad too restaurant oh, life was not terrible for me. It wouldn't have been sucks. good at the retail sounds like the worst retail's option retail's the worst uh, I don't know worst. maybe just like a stocking shit yeah like Abercrombie and Fitch I'm talking about a warehouse I worked on an airline yeah. counter I should I worked I worked in multiple right. restaurants and I was terrible and all I got fired from one I quit one like unexpectedly yeah. I quit. You didn't. You were <laughs> what does that mean? Like I quit, quit unexpectedly. Like I, I quit. Like I just quit. I quit oh, randomly. Did I do that? No, I. I got, That's actually kind of what to do, did. I called and I quit randomly, <laughs> and then they were like, "It was like Christmas Eve." I think I quit that because they wanted me to work on like Christmas Eve. Uh. And I was like, "Yeah, I. Uh, it's getting too busy. I, I got. I can't work here anymore. Take me off the schedule." What a great feeling, though. And then they were like, "You're still coming in tonight, though, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, definitely." And I just never. I, did, I worked at a call center, and I quit that mid shift. Just walked awesome. out. Yeah, they gave me the paycheck after like I just had to get enough paychecks to pay rent. I did that too at a call center. It was awesome. I put my phone down and just got up and walked out. I did, they we took a break and I just never <laughs> came back. It was fucking awesome. great. Out of fantasies. Yeah. Yeah. They. I got my last paycheck and I was like, well, that's it for but me. A lot of people do that though. Yeah. A it's a people. brutal job because it was a, it was like fundraising for. The university, and you had to call people at dinner time. Oh, that's oh. worse. I was, yeah, I was walking yeah. people through gateway computer problems. So, Ugh. for the calls, Oof. what percentage of people are even like semi-respectful to you? Like, so we would do. You had to do a certain amount of calls every hour. I think it was like twenty or something, and it was probably one out of twenty would even consider like donating, and then maybe two others would be nice, and then everyone else would be like, "Fuck you." What was the average? Like, They'd just be like, "Don't call me back again." Yeah, stop calling me during. Yeah, the that's so funny. Yeah, brutal. <laughs> that's four brutal. To me every time that's they get me yeah. every time. Yeah, you had to call out at 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 uh, during dinner. That's the worst time. You the the shifts were like five to seven p.m. Mm. I mean, people must have just, it must have been almost every call they would just hang up. Yeah, no, people know. were just pissed. Yeah. And you'd get like an old person who'd be like, oh, I, I'll think about that. Yeah. Where's Trying my to close purse? the deal. And it was Honey, also. You come over. <laughs> <laughs> the shittier the job, I don't know if this is your guys' experience, the shittier the job, the like lamer they make it in the office to try to make it fun. Yeah. So yeah. there'd be like yeah. competitions on who could get the most. Yeah. Donations and then like prizes and shit, and you just be like fucking kill me. But it was never what you wanted was, which was just more yeah. money. It yeah, was right. Like yeah. here's yeah coupon to Coles. Right, dude. exactly. What? Oh my god, was it Hi. brutal? I worked at a I worked at a pizza place for a while, and I got fired from there. But uh, right before I got fired, they, we got a new owner, a new dude bought it, 
and he was he wanted to be able to make pizza so bad but he couldn't like he just could not do the dough it's hard <laughs> no idea how to yeah. do it and he would like show up randomly like ah I'll, I'll, let me let me do a couple pizzas and then we'd have to like when he wasn't looking we'd have to throw them away and make new pizzas because the would, owner <laughs> dude they would come out and they'd be like pizza. triangles with like a like a tiny dot of sauce in them <laughs> we just have to toss them and not tell them what was your worst oh, job steven you love Jamba Juice. Uh, Planet Smoothie, Smoothie yes, I loved. Uh, Planet Smoothie, yeah. There was a job I had. Uh, it was for some finance company, and it was calling people to attend like a financial seminar. It was in college. It was brutal. That was one where I walked away mid shift as well. Yeah. Or like when my shift was on, like I'm not coming back. My most memorable time in that job was I called a WNBA player. I was like. <laughs> Hey, what? Yeah. Want to want to come out for this financial seminar? I don't remember. But it did had... anyone ever say yes? Yes. Yeah. Got quite a few people. Really? Really? Yeah. I was pretty good at it. I There's can't just... imagine someone calling me like, "Hey, want to come to this financial seminar?" You'd be surprised. You can get some people on the phone who just like don't have friends or family to talk to them. Yeah. Like you get that where you'd like talk to yeah. an old person who's like just wants to talk on like. Like, where's the money going to? Talk me through all the programs. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah, it's sad. It sucks. At one time, I was an absolute monster at this job called a connector. I worked on like a... You mean you were a monster? Like a... <laughs> what's that That like Wall Street movie with like the financial firms? Wolf of Wall Street. Street. No, right. no, no, no. Heinous megalomaniac? Boiler Room. Boiler Room. Yeah. It was a place like that. And uh, That I, kind of rules. I wasn't... Pinstripe <laughs> shirts like back <laughs> yeah. here. I was not like Series 7 or 63 or whatever it was certified. But there were a ton of leads for people to call and talk like actual financial details to get them to invest with them. So what I would do is I would pound the phones. And when I got someone on, on the phone, I'd be like, hey, is this the person? And I would you know, try and change my voice a little bit and then pass it to a certified person to do it. And you was, literally were boiler room. Yeah, I was, I was a monster at that. <laughs> you were good at it? Very good. How? Give me an job. example. Show us how you would change your voice. Well, it depends on like what the guy is working with. If I was working with Barry, I'd have a certain voice. If I was working with Brian, I'd have a different voice. What was Barry's voice? Jeez, <sighs> uh, this was a really long time ago. Pretend you're handing the phone to Big Cat. Big Cat is the guy, and you're like... Sure, get so you get, the, you get the yeah. stack of index card leads and be like, all right, uh, and you call, all right, is Jason home? Okay, uh, Jason, get online. Hey, Jason, what's up? This is... Uh, whoever this is Dan from Barcel Sports I want to talk to you a quick minute about whatever the investment was how, how are you doing let's your mark? make How's up a portfolio? fake investment and call Mitzi yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah sell them with Bistics that would work yeah sell them what oh, Bistics should we do another watch company so yeah 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 call Port from Rolex shock. yeah like hi this is <laughs> yeah hi this is Ron from Rolex or like Timex you've seen your work and yeah, and we'd like to talk to you about a future here at Rolex. Do it. We want to put this guy on a live mic again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Portable Just be clubs. ready to dump it. Who's talking? <laughs> All right, wait, let me hear your. Let me hear your voice. Don't call yet. Don't call yet. What's your impersonation yeah. voice. You're Ron from Rolex. Ron from Rolex. What's our best-selling watch? Mm. Submariner. The uh, rose gold. The presidential. The, ro the presidential rose gold. 1029. Presidential Rose Gold 1029. Yeah. And That's my name is what? Ron. Ron. Do your name. Do your voice. We got to hear your voice. It's different for every person, so I got to make up in my you mind. You know it until you get in there, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Try to call Mincy. See if you can poach him. How are we going to. What number are we using? I think TJ's going to call him. He's going to know it's the radio number. Fuck. Oh, yeah. But we don't have another. There's like three numbers. Are you sure he's going to know? He knows all, all of our From numbers. your cell phone. I don't, I don't think he has mine. Very good. Mm. Ron, you call him from your block. Block your, fo your phone and call Eight? him. No, Maybe well, you? I mean, he does uh, not have mine. Ron can block, block my phone, but I want to hear Stephen Che. Do okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Then you block your phone, Stephen, and call me. How do I block my do phone? Use Kate's R6 phone. R67. seven. Does that still or does work? he not have? He does not have my. I don't. All right, all right. Give him your phone. I'll go get it. I bet he we does. We spin the wheel real quick, TJ. You bet he does. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he does. By the way, Omaha Steaks. Delicious. The Ooh. best. With Father's Day right around the corner, the Father's Day experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to put a smile on the big guy's face this summer with hand-selected packages. Packages can include fork tender, bacon-wrapped filet mignons, 
or other gourmet grillables like air chilled boneless chicken breast burgers, jumbo franks, and many more favorites. Ooh. Omaha Steaks, you're giving a gift of the world's best beef. Not only that, steaks are naturally aged for ultimate tenderness, juiciness, and flavor, but Omaha Steaks is five generations. Wait, are they on the wheel? Yeah, they're on the wheel. So someone might win Omaha what? Steaks. This Father's Day, show him the love with the only gift that's unforgettable as he is the mouth-watering perfection of Omaha Steaks. From perfectly aged, oh-so-tender steaks to hand-selected gift packages, Omaha Steaks makes it easy to give Dad what he really wants. Order today and get $30 off with promo code YAK, and every purchase is backed by their unconditional 100% money-back guaranteed. Minimum order may be required. See site for details. Omaha Steaks, Father's Day. Do it right now. Your dad will love you for it. Let's go. Spin it. If it lands on Omaha, three people get Omaha. Three people what? here or three listeners? Here. Three people here. Let's Ooh. go. Hell yeah. Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros. El yak. Oh, it's getting thinner. I want to spin it again, dude. I want to Omaha. We'll do it again tomorrow. Omaha Steaks. Go support Omaha Steaks. Support the yak. Are you ready, Steven? Oh. What's, uh, Rehearse your lines. Oh, I need your passcode. Maybe you're from like a regional um, HQ. Um, say it. Just say it. Just say it. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of loves, numbers. Uh, got it. <laughs> got yeah, it, yeah. Steven. He right. loves hand signals. He's you think you right. could? Do you think? Wait. Do you, do you think you could pull up a picture of someone's face and face and face ID it? That would work. Probably not. Probably not. Um, you should. Is Rolex? Where's Rolex? Is Rolex? Okay, you're a Philadelphia New York? area code? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm going to say I'm from the Philly, Philly, Philly branch. Philly branch and trying to hire him. See what you've done with Brick. Ron Cardone is going to be my name. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, like based it. in Switzerland. You're based in Switzerland. No, this is a Philadelphia area code. So yeah, yeah. Philadelphia. He's from the Philly branch. Philadelphia branch. Okay. Philly branch. I mean, Wait, is Rolex headquartered pressure. in New York? No, Switzerland. So oh, tell him we'll fly him out to Switzerland. Fly him out to for Switzerland. For training. Vut, vut. If he's in mint. What are some other watches? Is the pres- rose gold presidential? <laughs> 1029. 1029. 1029. What's another one? Uh, Batman. Uh, Batman oh, Rolex. That's what uh, Francis has. Batman. Batman. Continental. Yeah, the okay. con- yeah, say continental. Continental presidential. Stick memorial. The memorial. All right. All right, What's so I call him on this and put it on speaker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us the voice. Okay. Please. Everyone sh- no, spur the moment, man. All right, here we go. He's good. Damn good. Yep, on the speakerphone, yeah. Speakerphone. Hey, is this Benjamin? I was speaking. This is Ron Cardone with Rolex. Uh, I'm out of our Philadelphia branch. Uh, okay. We've we seen some of the work you've been doing with uh, them brick watches. Uh, we got a, I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. We got kind of an overflow with our presidential, like the Rose Gold 1029. I don't know if you're familiar with that or the Batman. I'm, uh, I'll be honest. I'm not too familiar. Like, I, this brick watch thing is a new... Like, I got hired for it, and I'm not familiar at all with watches. It's kind of funny that, like, I should know more. But, um, but anyway, go ahead. Continue speaking. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, I'm, I mean, I should probably back up. Are you familiar with our brand, Rolex? I mean, of course I know what Rolex is. Yeah, y'all are the gold standard of watches, and I have the utmost respect for what y'all do. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? Yeah, Tell him it's you. Mincy. Mincy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mincy, we're, we're, we're on the yak. <laughs> sorry. I love you too. <laughs> we love you. I'll see you later, buddy. No, no, they, uh, he, he told him it was him. Oh, no. He told him it was him. He <laughs> probably should have done that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar. There's no better brand than Rolex. <laughs> Best brand there is. I have the utmost respect. No other brand that compares. I have the utmost respect. All right, go buy a brick watch. Fuck Rolex. Uh, Fuck him. Fuck. I love Rolex it. could never come so up good. with a call like that. Only yeah. Brick Watch could buy a Brick code, Watch. Code Mincy, twenty percent right. off. Code Mincy, twenty percent off. Here's what I'll say: if you if you buy the more Brick Watches that are sold with Code Mincy, the more we will call Mincy yeah. with random job offerings on the yeah. app. <laughs> That's we're, a fact. Even good work. We're not focusing on something. <laughs> but 
Stephen Che's voice was yeah. just Stephen Che. He was Southern. It was Southern, yeah. it was Southern, Southern Che. <laughs> <from the office. laughs> I thought it was over. It was your voice. Just, that was a pitiful voice. It was just you. It was Texas Che. It was Texas Che. That was great. Not just like you. Just Not really. You did it. It was just you. Ron Cardone. You changed it. Oh, you kind of sent Ron like two sentences in. Why are you Southern? Ron Cardone, Philadelphia. People, people move. Oh, that was unreal. Oh, my God. Uh, was that your attempt at a Philly accent? Word? No, I was not trying to do a Philly accent. I can't do a Philly I accent. I just like an Italian dude from Texas who moved to Philadelphia. It's fucking yeah. sick. Uncarded. But you had, I mean, you were the master of disguise. You might as well have been in the movie Face Off. <laughs> you had a completely different face and voice en- to I changed Mincy. it enough just so he would not know that it was me. Right, and he had no idea. I mean, as soon as he, he heard Rolex. He didn't change it at all. I, I feel did. bad. Is it Mincy knows my feel voice. feel bad? No. no, we'll no. just see. listen. It's good pr- pr- uh, promotion for Brick Watch. Everyone, go buy a Brick Watch. Save our mincy. I mean, he folded fast. <laughs> <laughs> really? Fast. Real fast. He was like, I'm real, real fast. fast. I'm he was ready to leave. He was ready to leave it all behind. Yeah. <laughs> he got ahead of himself. No, he was like, Well, let me go ahead and say what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was he was Southern hospitality. He was taking a phone call. Yeah. He didn't do You're anything right. wrong. Here, I'll tell him to. We'll plug the we'll plug the promo code. Gold standard. Have him talk about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh my God, he's so funny. I love him so much. Oh no. Oh no. He threw uh, his phone in the shit. lake. <laughs> he's got rid you of think all he's the mad? Data. What's up, big cat? Hey, hey, Mincy. Let's uh, let's talk about Brick Watch. Okay, let's talk about Brick Watch. All right, tell me, <laughs> tell me on the Brick Watch. When you buy Brick Watch, you're making a statement that you support that you support Dave Portnoy and what he believes in. Yes. Rolex. And, and that, that to me, and uh, I think he, he's shown that with uh, him having my back here and shows, you know, he's a he's a little guy and rides hard for his guys. His watches are amazing. I mean, we got like five different kinds. They look good. They look incredible. Uh, very, very, very sleek. Uh, very modern, you know. Hey, but, uh, you're hey. Not, but you're not just buying a nice watch. You're oh, buying into a, you're buying you're buying into into a brand and uh, a culture. Wait, that and represents a lot of good things in our society. But Mincy, I want to give to small businesses, but I I have a certain amount of money to buy a, a brick watch, but then I won't be able to give to small businesses. What do I do? Yes. Yeah, so if you do buy by buying a brick watch. You'll be, he just in sync you? Dave's going to do that are going to be 40 to 50,000 and 20 percent wow. uh, of the income. Uh, not And not even just the income. It's net, like, it's not net sales. It's net just whatever's bought. So it's, you know, if you buy a brick watch, it's not like net That's profit. Sales. It's net sales. Got so it. Literally, literally, it's just 20 percent off the top. Because we all know that Dave Portnoy, as he's shown in the past with the Barstool Fund, uh, loves to support small businesses. It's in his core, and it's what he believes in. It's what he's, you know, built from the ground with Barstool, and now he's, you know, taking those talents to Brick Watch in a different, different way, and just going out and doing good for a lot of people. You know, and love so, it. Uh, Is there a code, yeah. Mincy? Is there a code for me to buy? Well, so no, at checkout right now, still for this week, it's uh, 20% off the checkout. And, uh, you know, I, I asked if he needed to do like a Mincy code or anything. He's like, just all the ones are going to you right now anyway, since oh. uh, since we, you know, hi- since we hired you. So, uh, yeah. What's your favorite design, Mincy? You say when you buy a brick watch that you care about small business. Yeah. And, back and, and, and Mincy, and you care about Mincy. Not just you buying a great watch, but you're also, you know, buying uh you know, I, I don't want to say the lifestyle, but just like a way of life, like giving back and being good to others. Yeah, love it. Well, thank you, Mincy. You still haven't hit me back about World Series of Poker. Oh, okay, got it. Got to get on. Okay, still, yeah. So far, I'm over two, so you haven't, you know. Okay. You, you, you saved a little money. So. Oh, you're about to get hot. You're about to get hot. Oh, I believe it. I've uh, the, this roller coaster. I've never had a roller coaster like the last two months, man. I just hope I survive this year. It's been so crazy. But, All right, we love you, Mincy. Love you too. Baby. All right, yeah. bye. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> he fall down a chute. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing to explain that. Fucking. <laughs> <Woo-hoo! laughs> we gotta call him tomorrow with a different, a different Quincy company G-Shop. trying to. Yeah, we're trying here to with Apple Watch. Poach him. <laughs> just keep trying to poach him and have the him gold just... standard Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta run to an interview. All right, no, no, we're good. We're good. Right. Yeah, we're good. Up. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah.
Somebody moved our yak. See you tomorrow. Go buy a brick watch.